Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. Thank you for dropping by. This is the card you're making. It just says, just saying, just thanking you for just swinging by to say hi, and I love it. And I've actually stamped and coloured in here on craft cardstock or crumb cake, as we call it in the Stampin' Up World. And that was the point of this card menu is to show you don't always just have to use basic white to stamp and colour in. You can use other 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 colours. Sorry, I'm losing my words here. I've done a ton of voiceover, so my tongue is getting a little tied. So I am going to stamp in Memento Tuxedo Black so we can colour in using the Stamp and Blend alcohol markers. And I'm going to use be using this little stamp set called Little Monkey. And it actually has a matching punch as well. But I'm not going to be using the matching punch. I'm just going to be using um, my the stamp set. So here I've got my little monkey and I just love this stamp set with the monkey. Unfortunately this one is retiring now at the end of April so if you do like this set I would suggest getting this before it goes and be gone forever. So it is a cute set. Okay so we've got that little monkey hung, hanging from the tree and I'm going to use all three monkeys in this set. So I'll have it in three different places on my card and it just gives a little bit of a visual triangle I think which helps when designing any card. Okay, sorry for any noise in the background. I think there's been a delivery driver. Okay, so there we go. There are our three monkeys. Now I'm going to use my sentiment so let's make sure there's space for it. I'm just using my grip pepper to try and get it straight and let's just stamp that somewhere around there that'll do okay now I think next what do I need to do I think I'm going to stamp here some foliage I'm going to have foliage coming up all around the card almost to look like a jungle that these bunny and the bunnies not bunnies monkeys are swinging around the trees so you can see here I'm just filling in gaps around the edge um, trying to make sure I twist my stamp as I go around so it's not always in the same orientation so it doesn't look so repetitive and let's have a look here there we go have some foliage up there and I think we're done with that one there so let's put that away and then I've got a smaller piece here of foliage and I'm just going to use this almost like a filler in places just to give some added interest so it's not all one type of foliage because normally you have varying foliage in a jungle or any garden anywhere not all leaves are the same, different bushes have different types of leaves. Okay, so let's put that away. And now we're going to go for a little banana. I think this banana is just so cute. And I have this hanging from one of the paws of my monkey. I saw if my head's in the camera there. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Isn't that cute? I think so. Okay, so all our stamping is done now and we're ready to start colouring. So let's clear the decks, straighten everything up and bring in our Stamp and Blend alcohol markers. And the colours we're going to use today are quite a long list and you will find them all linked below and listed below in the description box. And we're going to start off here with some Peck and Pie and also some... Um, crumb cake and I think I've also got here some copper clay as well and you can see here I'm just going with a darker colour and then I'm going to blend out with the lighter colour sometimes going backwards and forwards as I want to do between the two and you can see here I'm colouring in my monkey going with the darker colour first almost just outlining the monkey and I'm going in with my lighter colour and this is um, what do you call this um, crumb cake so that's tone on tone crumb cake on crumb cake and you can see here again going with the darker colour 
and then going back over adding extra highlights where I want it I tend to do this quite a bit initially when you color on this cardstock it's just going to look everything's going to look to look almost wet but and you might always see the color but as things dry you'll find the color really comes through now I'm going to use some petal pink here for their cheeks and their ears and then I'm going into coloring my leaves and here I'm using some granny apple green and you can see here I'm just give, adding a few highlights here and there in my darker color and now I'm going to go back to my monkeys after they've dried a bit and add a bit more color in there because I really want them to show up I don't want them to blend into the background okay back to my granny apple green and now I'm using the lighter color just to blend everything else so I'm just going quickly around this has speeded up quite 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 a bit so don't sort of think that I did this in real time this has speeded up at least five or six times the speed it took me but I didn't think you wanted to watch me for half an hour coloring in okay so there we go there's our coloring gonna add some color for our bananas that's in daffodil delight and then I'm going back in with my darker color of my granny apple green you can see here at times this is what because it can look quite deep wet at the beginning you don't think you've got enough color but as it dries it lightens up considerably so there we have our card and this is going to be backed onto a standard aces card base and this is early espresso so this is an A4 sheet cut in half and then folded in half and you can see my snail has given up the ghost so give up on that as well and go back to my tried and tusted tombow I think I needed to put a new refill in my snail or my seal as it's called now I still call it snail even though it's years since snail, snail retired and now I've got a piece of um, basic white cardstock to go on the inside uh, that's just my standard mat so that's 14.35 centimeters by 10 and if you saw there a few seconds ago I showed you a piece of crumb cake where I tested out my colors on it before I started my coloring and that's always a useful thing to do is just get a scrap piece of card and test your colors out before you actually color with them now I'm just using the ombre dots and adding a few green ones scattered across my card and that will be our card done and dusted so they're the two I hope you liked them if you did I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know and don't forget to subscribe to future videos so thank you again and until next time enjoy being creative bye